Man, we reached 500 subscribers. I am blessed to say that we are on the road to 1K. So thank you guys for taking the time to follow and watching my quirky channel. I'm just being a geek. And I'm just looking forward to, you know, more, more stuff. However, I did tweak it up a little bit. I couldn't help it. Peter, shout out to Peter Dance, King of Evoker in Europe. I couldn't help it. I did. I tweaked it up again. I made some little changes. I won't be doing any breakdowns. A little bit, but just, just I love this deck. All right. Intro, please. <laughs> I'm just up in my sway, stay in my bag, I got plenty for days Chief in that Zod, don't come with no haze Jewelry all on me, it wet like a tray Addicted to pay, no all the steppers, no kidding in play Look at my team, see all of us made Came a long way for minimum wage Hey, What's going on y'all, MU7 here, back with another video Hope you guys are having a great Thanksgiving A happy Thanksgiving to be exact And I wanted to make sure you guys are, you know Filling up your stomachs with lots and lots of food now, I came up, well, not came up. I tweaked it up a little bit. Tweaked up Invoker just a little, little bit. Um, I'm not going to be doing a long breakdown. I'm just going to show you the ratios, some of the stuff I added, and the extra cards that I'm playing. Okay, let's get to it. Here's the Invoker deck. I've done multiple videos and explanations on it in the past, so I'm going to get right to it. You have the front side here. Of course, you pitch one extra card. Uh, game plus 5K, draw a card. Awaken, uh, um, the Awaken Surge, you add one red and blue to it, draw three and attack one. And on the Awaken side, you have, if your life is at five or less, you choose one. You add up to, uh, you draw one card and then you discard one of your opponent's cards with 35k power or less or an extra card. Or you can choose up three multicolored cards with different names from your drop or warp and add them to your hand. All right, let's get down to the battle cards. So... We are running two SS Blue Vegetas, so, um, Inspired Technique. Reason why is that these two are still, it's a good target to play early game. I usually keep one in hand. It's a deflect barrier, and but, um, of course it's energy exhaust, but you could definitely play this on turn three or turn four and stall out in the first two or three turns. We have the full rival Seekers. You can use these for uh, super combos, and you can use it to also go into Zenkai Summoning. Um, it's 19k, add up to two multicolored cards and put a six drop on top of it. Really good card. Next we have two Ultra Instinct Energy Explosions. You can literally just restand three energy by playing this card. You can tap six to play to untap three or play this over the Rival Seeker. You can definitely go to Burn Route with this deck as well. So we run two of these. Next we run Sun Goku Instincts Repass, the one of Triple uh, Strike Deflect Ninja Exalts. You could warp multicolored cards and stand it. And then the battle card uh, gets re uh, your opponent's leader gets reduced by 5k. It's such a beautiful card. Mystic Booth was a really good set. Next, we are running the four Beeruses, Divine Obliterator. I know Peter does two Beerus, two Zenos, but I, I like I just run the four to untap. You only use these to save yourself from a, just to untap energy, and you can also use it in Zenkai. Next, we are running the Android 17 Most Valuable Player. You can definitely use this on turn four or turn five. The goal is to stall out against your opponent in a defense uh, when it comes to defending yourself. Um, you tap three, it becomes Invoker. I hope this card gets on the right. It. You run two of these. But the main goal is for, for the Gokus. I'm sorry, yeah, you run three of these. For the, the main goal for these and then the, the Beerses and the Rival Seekers is that you're going into Zenkai Summoning. So you don't have to worry about these cards beating your drop as much. So we don't have any overwhelms in the deck. Next, we run one of uh, the one up. <laughs> we run the one of Topo Righteous Aid. This is a, a stall card, of course. I know Peter does two, but I just run one uh, one at the moment. Um, might boost it up to two, but it's a good way to stall out your opponent because your opponent will want to discard cards, especially doing this meta. Ah, here we go. Next, we run the one up SS Sun Goku Another World Blitz. Because we have extra cards and the battle cards I'm dealing with um, are most likely going to be in the Zenkai uh, section. If I don't have no battle cards, I could play this. He's Deflect, Triple Strike, Barrier Blocker. And the fact that you can play this card, draw one, and then bottom deck your opponent's battle cards to the number of extra cards uh, in your drop. And he's tapped for it. So it's, if there's no battle cards in your drop, you play this card from your hand. So it's a one up for sure. Ah, uh, 
Next, we're running Son Goku Apex of Power. You are shutting the uh, field down. You're, you're shutting it down. Victory Strike, you win the game. Beautiful card. It's, it's an addiction. All right, here for the extra cards. We run four Emperor Dead Beams. Of course, you're nagging by 30k. You use these to warp to add multicolored cards from your deck to your hand. But there's so much stuff on the field that has Deflect and Barrier. We have to nag them. Next, we run four Royal Combinations. Anything in your cards eight or less. If it doesn't have Deflect, sends them straight to the bottom of your opponent's deck. Any Zenkai cards that don't have Deflect, you get rid of it. Next, we run four Cat Blows. Keep in mind, we run the we run the burn route, and this also to help you search all your multicolored cards and search out your deck. Uh, once per turn, your opponent takes a, a life, and if you have a Goku, it does too. Energy explosion for sure. Next, you run the one of combination attack. This is to deal with the um, to deal with the uh, Zenkai cards. So most likely, you see me adding this card back to hand to knock out Zenkai cards and moving from the field. Next, we run reading this together. Of course, a lot of the cards that are being played don't have barrier these days unless it's something big and heavy. But the goal is to make sure you blow up the field. And you can also tap one as back to your hand. We are running two CP Boy techniques. Negate, draw a uh, pot of greed, compulsory, compulsory evacuation device. Phantom Fist is a good card. You have four energy. And the fact that you can, on your start of your opponent's uh, next main phase, you choose up to one of your blue energy, switch it up into active mode. Then you get to choose one of your opponent's battle cards, um, and it gives my 15 power to start your next main phase. Phantom Fist is a really slept on card. Peter actually recommended me running that. We have the one of Tyranny Costs. Um, it's it's really good. Draw two cards. And as also you can use this to save your energy. Late game. I know a lot of blue stuff have a lot of cards, so imagine them shuffling what 10 cards back into the deck. Because the new blue stuff, they can have up to like, they can have up to like psh, what 15, 16 cards? It's crazy. Next, we have Extent of Reprisal is a negate attack. Next, we have Tyranny Cost. Draw two cards. Um, if your opponent has more than has 11 or more, then they shuffle till they have uh, 10 cards in their hand. With the new blue stuff, and there's all, a lot of these new decks now have a lot of draw power, so you want to be able to lower their hand. It does kind of stomach them something back just a little bit. We do run Extent of Reprisal. The one up for this one is because you want to negate a lot of the heavy stuff early game. It is a multicolor card as well. You definitely set your energy if you see it early game because you do have a lot of defense in the deck. Next, we have the four sensual beans. Obviously, Invoker always been a deck of defense, so we're good with just defending ourselves just with these um, with these four here. And the fact that you can still use it in a deck like Invoker in Y range, I highly recommend running four plus five K and type energy. Next, we do have the four. Dimension Magics, Negate, we can do Spark and Tap 2 Energy. I always do Spark, especially if I know I'm being stalled out. But these come in handy late game. You also want to have the Magics on by after turn 4 for uh, Invoker. They're going to try to press you, so you want Victory Strike them. And of course, we run the 4 Tournament of Powers, the 4 TOPs. Um, always <laughs> mulligan your whole hand until you see this card. Uh, this is a must card. Of course, you don't know how to, if you can't see it or is in your life, Play the deck and think. Trust me, it's a different uh, way of playing this game. Uh, wow, TLP. All right, guys, let's get down into the Zenkai cards. So for the Zenkai cards, we have All Transing Son Goku, Luminous Awakening, Critical Double Strike, Z Awakening. If your life is at three or less and you have seven or more energy, Blue Son Goku. When this card attacks, draw one card. And this card gets plus 10k power for the turn for each card in your energy and Z energy. Auto once per turn. Place one of your Z energy in its owner's drop. When your opponent attacks with a battle card and gate to attack. So you want to play this late game. Um, definitely, this is an emergency for Invoker because this uh, leader, this Zenkai Awakening card does not have Invoker on it. Next, we run two Rush Attack SS Blue Vegetas. Of course, you use these for the for Zenkai Summoning. If you have Invoker on the field, a card with Invoker on the field and, these, uh, and one of these on the field, this becomes more of a threat than the Invoker uh, card because now you have to worry about Double Strike Barrier. Next, we run two Ultra Instinct Sun Gokus. Um, unthinking Ocelot. So, of course, you know, if you're able to negate yourself a lot, you'll definitely be able to use your resources by tapping three energy to play this. Use a dual attack barrier. His uh, bottom, his second auto, uh, his second skill does not really apply to the deck because now we're in verse seven. Um, even, but at, even the first part, the auto limit one doesn't apply. But at the end of your turn, you do switch this card to active mode. So he has a deflect barrier dual attack. So you, you can do pressure on it. Oh. Next, we have uh, one SS4 Son Goku, Defender of Life. 
you can definitely add it to a one Saiyan in each card because we do have Rival Seeker. We have we have a lot of Saiyans in the deck. And then, of course, uh, we don't have to use the second part of it because we don't have a pain leader. And next we have, as is Blue Vegeta surmounting the impossible, take that one extra life just to do some super combos or anything like that in case we need an extra card in our hand uh, to use. So this card comes in clutch. And let's get down to the extra deck. So, for the extra cards, we do have Rapid Onslaught Super Saiyan Blue Son Goku. Favorite battle card of all time, don't need to explain, but yeah, it's the one off I put in the extra deck. Next, we have the SS Blue Sun Goku Another World Blitz. This is the second one, just in case. What you would do is you can actually side out a Vegeta, a Volker Vegeta. Uh, but depending on your matchup, because you can actually take the Vegetas out and run this one. Uh, just run one Vegeta and run this one, just in case, as a, to stall out your opponent. But yeah, I have an extra one in the extra deck. We have an Ultra Instinct Sun Goku Energy Explosion. Um, if I want to switch out Instinct Surpass to this one, I definitely could. But I always keep one in the side just in case I need um add more uh, pressure to late, for late uh, burn. Next we have Barrier of Hope. Barrier of Hope is a, is a great card in this meta. Um, if your lead card is blue, of course, you two 20 points battle cards on Barrier. Um, return to his hand and you draw two cards and activate battle. Choose up to one of your leader cards or battle cards gets plus 5k power for the duration of the turn or duration of the battle. But just the, the fact that I say you can activate this card to activate battle from your hand while paying the energy cost is really good. But to be, to be able in this game to tap three and just stop your opponent's play to let the rebuild that card is incredible. Uh, not even a scratch. The fact that it's an extra card, you pitch one, draw one, and then you can negate the attack. You can send this card from the drop to the warp and draw one. You actually draw two cards because of the um, because of uh, Goku's uh, leader's ability. I mean, it's it's really cool because what you would do is, you know, either you swing or you get attack. You swing, right? Or of course, you know, get attack. Pitch, draw one, and then your turn. You could just remove this card, send it to warp, and draw another one. Really good. Next, we have CP Boy Technique. We run a third one just in case we need to do some more negates. We are running two uh, Manjin Buu, Assault of the Age of Destructions. These cards are good for late game and they're good to. They become a blocker. Not become a blocker. They are blockers, but they become a, a bigger threat on the field for late game because a lot of your opponents not going to know that you run these in the main deck. Uh, extensive reprisal, we do the one of just for the uh, more negates for sure. Next, we're going two thirty bursts because of the uh, all the heavy stuff that's on the field. Anything that's a threat, anything that's seven or more, you play this. They're not going to attack you. Next, we're going two realm of the gods. Bears destroys the fact that there are some one drops on the field that are becoming a threat on the field. Um, but if it's your opponent's turn, you draw one card and then choose up to run your opponent's back card and cost two or less to place the bottom of the deck. I, I'm reading that one first because that's what I always look forward to doing against my opponent. But on the first part of it, it says if it's your turn, choose to one of your opponent's back card and cause greater than their current energy and place with, um, the bottom of the running deck. So any, any big heavy beaters, you definitely just go get rid of it. And next with these two cards here, these are the um, these are the the black smoke dragons. Um, I'm gonna have to order some soon. I've been so busy, but. Yes, these are the Black Smoke Dragons that let you basically get rid of, rid of Unison. It, you just remove it from play. But anyway, guys, that is it for the Invoker deck. All right, you guys, that is it for the Invoker deck profile. Look, every few months, I'm going to be tweaking this up. This deck does not stop. Anyway, guys, hope you guys have a great day, a positive day, and remember the Lord loves you. Wait, wait, wait. Don't go just yet. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at evanu 7 Glover. And don't worry, I'll follow back. Bye.